Look what I got. The Hamilton Beach Grill. Now, this one reminds me of the old George Foreman, but this is actually has a kick. It's a different model, right? Now, it does have a drip tray in the side. If you guys can notice, everything's going to go on the side. You cannot put this on the dishwasher. You're going to have to manually wash it, right? Uh, I like to oil them up once in a while. You know, run a damp oil on the actual tiles and run them, clean them. You know, but first, before that, I got to clean it out with real water. Let all the drippings go down. Clean it out. Especially if you're doing bacon and stuff like that. It does get stuck in here and eventually you're going to have to clean it up. Now, here on this one, we have a temperature control, right? And they give you a manual. On the manual, they tell you exactly what temperatures to do or just do it on your own. Uh, you can increase and decrease and power on and then the light goes on automatically. It does have a power cord, which is it's not that long. It's, it's gonna be like two or three feet right uh real short i like this part right here it has a handle because this part is uh, extremely hot when it gets hot stainless steel if you guys can see it matches my refrigerator but beautiful style on the side profile uh it's a little large you know i'm not gonna lie to you it's a little large on that part of it um it does have some footing in the bottom all right maybe some rubber little ends but they're not the strongest part but it's still hanging in there now this part is real easy i like this you know you can always check your meat or your whatever you're grilling up and down simple as that so today we're gonna make some chicken before that i'm gonna clean it out let it run for a bit so we're gonna prepare it we're gonna go ahead and um spray some oil Ooh. so when using the hamilton beach make sure that you have it closed you turn on the on button you select the um, temperature you want, and you wait till it beeps before using it. That means that it's heated and ready to go. Pieces of chicken go in. We season the chicken too, also. And we're only gonna fit only probably three pieces right now, because this thing is um, the chicken's pretty large. Make sure when you close it that it's all the way in. All right. So make sure it's all the way up here. So it won't, all the drippings are going to go. Make sure your dripping box is in here. It's cooking. I'm going to show you guys just a little bit, a little glimpse of it. So it's cooking. It's going. You can push it down if you want to get those lines more. But I will not recommend it. You just let it cook for a bit. Ooh, look at that. Nice, beautiful grill. Ooh, look beautiful. They look marvelous. How's it taste? So we're done with this one but this is the way i'm talking about that you need to clean it out by the end of the day if it's still warm run a little damp towel i said but wait until it gets cooled down a little bit all right over by the end of the day your chicken's quick and simple this steam came out really good now it's time to clean it up we're gonna clean it up put it away and use it for some other day or if you want to make yourself a hamburger steak paninis or anything else with the chicken very simple, easy to use. I hope you guys enjoy the video. We're making chicken salad today.